Hello, I am Obani Kestin. Welcome to the fourth and last module on our series on COVID-19, its impact on the education sector. In this module, we will be talking about COVID-19 and education in Nigeria. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to tell what teachers should expect as schools reopen, what to do to get the students back to school mode or routine, what to do with students who have fallen behind, what questions to expect from parents, precautions students should take when schools reopen, and lastly, how teachers can support themselves and their students when schools reopen. Now, as the pandemic continues to shape the way we have always lived our lives and done things, the federal government of Nigeria has also maintained the shutdown of our physical academic institutions until further notice. But this is not to say that our physical classrooms will remain shut forever. For a country like ours, virtual education is like a pale shadow compared to physical classroom education due to the level of underdevelopment in education that we are faced with. Therefore, in the light that someday and hopefully soon, school gates will be thrown open to both students and teachers, it is important to know what is to be expected as this is happening. It is never going to be business as usual. Some challenges to be expected include the following. A dirty and disorganized school and classroom environment, students who have become academically rusty, students struggling to get back into school mode, parents asking a lot of questions regarding the safety of their children at school, school children disregarding or disobeying safety rule precautions, students with heightened anxiety due to the pandemic, and extra support from school management to help students come up to speed. Now, what do we do to get students back to school mode or routine? Coupled with the struggles to meet up academic demands, students will be faced with the stress of the pandemic as they return to school. Some of the ways teachers and school administrators can get students back to learning mode include the following. First, create a supportive and nurturing environment. Respond positively to students' questions and expressions of their feelings. Teachers should create a flexible academic routine. They should also make learning fun by incorporating play, fun activities, games and outdoor learning, and so on. Carry out a lot of revision exercises. Teachers should avoid putting pressure on the students. And lastly, teachers should plan ahead and take things slowly. Now, what are teachers expected to do with students who have fallen behind? Teachers can help students who have become academically rusty by doing the following. They can start the new school year with revision exercises for primaries and refresher courses for senior students. They should give them assignments to be done at home. They can implement blended learning, which is a combination of classroom and virtual education, which is studied through online learning, radio, television, and DVDs. They can also provide extra support to learners where necessary. Now, as schools reopen, parents will also come with their concerns and some of the questions to be expected from them include the following. What measures has the school put in place to ensure the safety of students from the spread of the virus? What has the school decided on in the event that a teacher or learner gets infected with the virus? How is the school prepared to support the mental health of learners and tackle any stigma against people who have been sick? Does the school have a policy on bullying? If yes, has there been any update on it to protect sick learners who might be bullied? What plans does the school have to help learners abide by the social distancing rules? How can I support the school's efforts on COVID-19 safety and precautionary measures? How will the school refer learners who may need referrals for specialized mental and physical support? And lastly, is it safe for my child to return to school? 
Teachers and school administrators must be prepared to answer these questions from parents. Now, what precautions should students take when schools reopen? The fight against the coronavirus pandemic is one that all hands must be on deck. In an academic environment, efforts are made by teachers, students, and other school staff to keep safe from the virus. Learners can contribute their quota by learning and abiding by the following precautions against the virus. Obey social distancing rules. Wash hands frequently and especially after using the restroom or touching public school items. Learners should stay at home if they feel sick or if any member of their family is sick. Learners can also report any sick classmate to the school administration. Lastly, they must obey all safety measures put in place by the school authority to curb the spread of COVID-19. Please note that these considerations and suggestions are not meant to replace, but supplement any health and safety rules put in place by the local, state or federal government by which schools must comply. Some of the ways teachers can support themselves and their students when schools reopen are stay updated on latest information regarding the COVID-19 pandemic. Share amongst themselves important educational material that can assist them do their jobs better. Teachers can implement cohorting. This is simply forming groups of students and teachers who stay together throughout the school day in order to minimize exposure across the school environment. Teachers should supplement classroom teaching with outdoor teachings, drama, and playlet. More outdoor activities will help curb the spread of the disease as we know that its spread is higher in confined spaces. Provision should be made for teachers and students to have the option of working and learning from home. Virtual teaching and learning materials should be provided to support this line of action. School administrators should notify local health workers of any new case of COVID-19 while maintaining confidentiality of the individual. Finally, while it is not possible to ensure a totally risk-free school environment, communities must make every effort to support the safe and prompt reopening of schools across our nation. Above all, the health, safety, and well-being of students Staff and families are the most important determinants in considering when schools should reopen for classroom learning. With this, we have come to the end of our series on COVID-19 and its impact on the education system. Thank you for staying with me. Bye.